This is Dunk Rock, and this is how I made the beat for Fuck You Mean by Gun. This was a situation where I was just cooking up. So Fuck You Mean just happened to be, you know, right beat, right time. I send a lot of beats, you have to. I didn't think that that beat was gonna be anything particularly special. You know, really blessed to be a part of the album. You never expect that your song is gonna be the one that takes off. It's just a blessing. All right, now let's get into the breakdown. So the Fuck You Mean melody only has two sounds. It's got a flute and it's got a piano. The uh, piano, I just started a chord progression at 110 BPM and it sounds like this. So essentially the piano part just keeps repeating throughout the whole melody. This is what the flute sounds like. It's just the flute down the octave and then for the second half, the flute goes up the octave. So I have those two pieces. I have the piano and I have the flute. I then move the BPM from 110 to 130 and I added the halftime effect. Halftime just gives it a slow, weird effect. Now that was a little too low. So what I did was I just took that whole thing and pitched it up seven semitones and then what you get is the final fuck you mean melody which sounds like this the next thing i added for the beat was the drums uh, i usually start with the hi-hats the hi-hat is a combination of a splice loop and some straight 16 hi-hats and they sound like this when they first come in After I laid down the hi-hats, I added a snare. And then I added some open hats, just to also give it a little bit more rhythm. That sounds like this. And the most fun part is the 808 and the kick. The 808 uh, that I used for this beat is a Zay 808, and producers will know what that is. This is what it sounds like with the 808. The kick really just makes the 808 um, come in with more punch during certain sections of the beat. And this is what everything sounds like together. The thing that I liked most about the whole song is that it was really a team effort. The ya, the fucking mean, they were in the studio that was added after the fact. And so that's Gunna, that's Flo, P. Liddy. The fuck you mean part is uh, a rapper named Nietzsche. You had Flo putting it all together, all the transitions, all the mixing is all him. And it was just really cool to see how that beat flowed into um, Rodeo. That's all Flo. When you're up and coming and things aren't happening, it feels like they're never gonna happen. Right, I've been there for sure. So the more you can overcome that on a daily basis and just be consistent with making stuff that you love just to do it, the more the universe is gonna open up the opportunities for you to actually succeed. That's what I would say. Just keep doing what you love because you love to do it. I'm Dunk Rock and this is Behind the Beat with Rap TV.